coming to get us back into a realm, back into a dimension, back into an authority. And when he walks around the earth, he begins to display such spiritual mastery over the realm of the spirit that even winds and waves obey him. He speaks to trees. He speaks to fish to pay his taxes. He speaks to everything. And to the degree he say, you can even say to a mountain, be removed and it'll get out of the way. Why? Because I am the return of the authority on heaven and earth. And when I open my mouth, uh, one word from me will cause 6,000 demons to scatter because I don't just have authority to heal the sick, but I've got authority in the realm of the spirit that when it came time for them uh, to crucify Jesus, he said, don't you get it twisted. You ain't taking my life. I'm going to lay it down. Because if I wanted to right now, I could call on 12 le yep, spiritual, spiritual, spiritual dimension. And they would come into this realm and wreck everything in it. Because you're not just looking at someone who came to rule on earth. I rule in the heavens. But being a man, he had to go purchase this authority legally which means he has to die. He has to pay the price for Adam's transgression. And this is what Paul is trying to get us to understand. Paul says when Jesus was in the heart of the earth and they're suffering as a sinner, after God had determined the demands of justice were completed over his life, watch this, raised him from the dead. Now we're still talking about in the realm of the spirit. We're not even in the natural. Jesus is not in Joseph's tomb. His body is in Joseph's tomb. His spirit is in the heart of the earth. And he's down there for spiritual supremacy. And when he died and his spirit went into the underworld, his spirit went into the underworld as a dead spirit. That's why, Father, my God, why have you forsaken me? And then he gave up the ghost and he died. He became sin. His spirit went down into the underworld. And Satan said, uh, he ain't much. He down here like everybody else. And it was like that for night one and night two. But after night three, the Bible determines the Holy Ghost walked into there. Oh, no, no. You say, now, wait a minute, preacher. Where you get that? From the Bible. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you and me. God sent the Holy Ghost on a mission to go revive and resurrect Jesus. And when Jesus' spirit came back to life, Satan says, what have we done? And Jesus says, this is what I came down here for. Now that I am alive and paid the price for Adam's transgression, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. And your Bible says something happened in hell. He stripped Satan of all rights. See, remember, Adam let him out. He didn't get it legally. He got it through Adam's transgression. But now Jesus shows up and says, the first one let you out. <laughs> but the last one going to lock you back up. What do you think these keys are for? They are authority over the realm. Sit down because that ain't what I came to tell you. I'm going to get there. I'm coming, I promise. 
Now Jesus, say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus upon the resurrection was conferred upon him now all authority. All authority in the heavens. That means over the spiritual dimension. Over angels, over demons, over principalities and powers. He rules in that realm. Satan says, what in the world have we done? Jesus said, you ain't seen nothing yet. He says, because I didn't come down here to resurrect myself. From this day forward, you're not just going to have to deal with me. Y'all didn't hear what I'm saying. You're going to have to deal with a whole race that's coming after me. And your Bible declares, watch this, watch this, that when Jesus was raised from the dead, the Bible declares that God gave him a Authority over all principality, power, might, dominion, and every name that is named. And then the Bible says, and then, uh, flip my page. The Bible says, look, look at this. All things have been put under his feet, and he's be become the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filled all in all, the fullness of him that fills all in all, all in all, the fullness of him that fills all in all, the fullness of him that fills all in all. It feels what? Feels where? Feels where? Where all? Where is all in all? Field? Where? Where you feeling?